Alright, so hi everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Chobo TV where we talk all matters football. My name is Lota and obviously I am joined by the legend, the man himself, the man that always comes late to the set by the way. That's him. Daddy Owen, Salmi on Aichi. Papa Fololo Onkele Mutulele, Legra Mopao. Alright, we didn't prepare for that by the way. But anyway, you remember you can check us out always on Clean Money TV on Facebook, on Instagram. Like, subscribe when you see the video, and obviously give us your feedback on what you think about our shows so far. It's been a great year, and we're here to still enjoy the action that is football. And today we are talking about a team that was banned from the, participating in the Champions League and they are still wearing their jerseys, coming with the jerseys on the show. Chicken. What a shame. We're proud, man. We're proud. Proud of our team. Proud of our team. Remember, the Premier League announced recently that this March they will be unveiling what we call the Hall of Fame. So, Kama Hall of Fame, Ojuni Nini. In basketball, Major League Baseball, NBA, they have Hall of Fame where they celebrate um, some of the legends that have graced the game. Now, the Premier League says they will be celebrating players from 1992 to date. So our question for today is, who do you think should be the first three players that should be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Daddy Owen. Three players that must be in the Hall of Fame. I'm still confused because I don't know, you know, since 92 till Today, that is 92 is when the Premier League started. Before yeah, that, it's going to I'm just, I'm, I'm just wondering, as in, will they start with the people who played from 92 no. to maybe 99? No. Or, listen, this is, indep guys, listen this is independent of them. This is Daddy Owens' list. If you are the Premier League, if you are the FA, who are the three names? For me, I'll go for players who I think made a milestone or people who achieved things. Who had a great achievement in the Premier League, as okay. in something memorable, something that when I sit down right, like this, I remember uh, when I saw this guy the first time, Mama, when this guy did this. As in, unfortunately, there are not so many players in the Premier League who can win Ballon d'Or. So, uh, <laughs> hater, <laughs> let, let me just go with the few players who I think they did something, you know. In the Premier League. <laughs> so you say the name and why? Number one, I'll start with Eric Cantona. Eric Cantona, okay. I think Eric Cantona is uh, one of those major stars when the Premier League changed its name from English Championship or something. Was it called Championship or something? From, from that time, when they started, uh, when it was dubbed now the Premier League. Yeah. Eric Cantona was the main star who I still remember till today. I remember the colors popping up, yeah. number seven at the back, and the way he was... You know, English football at that moment, mm -hmm. it was it was not more about skills. It was just about when you see players playing in the EPL, you used to, it was easy to identify them because yeah. it's more about academy football, whereby stop the ball, pass, loop the ball. Very basic. Very basic football. Okay. But Cantona came in with a skill. Okay. Yeah. So Cantona makes first on your list. Cantona number one. Right. Number two. Okay. I'm so confused between Buckham and uh, Henry. Dennis Buckham and Terry Henry. Yeah. Choose one. Bleh. Because you know Buckham, I know this will be a very very unpopular, but for me I feel Buckham was like the first major star player to be signed from a major league. Because at that time the Serie A was very big. Mm -hmm. And Beckham was by the time we heard the rumors that Beckham is coming to Arsenal, no one was so sure because it was like Right now, a player coming from an elite, you know, nowadays those things like Mbappe coming to us now, yeah, an, an, an elite player coming to a small club. Ouch, no, I'm talking about at that time, at that time, you know, at that time it was it was before the unbeaten season, something that I don't think any other team will ever achieve that one, but it was it was it was during that time that I think Bakam was that first major star, wild star, that came to EPL. So for me, I'll go for Bakam. And then... So Eric Cantona, Dennis Bakam. Then the last one. I think I have four players, but I have to choose three. And it's very unfortunate because it means now I'll drop one of the best players who I think has ever played in the EPL. But when it comes to Hall of Fame, maybe he'll... For me, I'll put him on the second list. But on the first list, I'll go now for Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh. As 
ask me why. No, no, no. No, I, I can't tell you before you ask me. Alright. Ask me why. Bless us with your knowledge. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo. I okay, in the new age, even po, po, young kids like you who started watching football the other day, I don't think you've ever seen any player winning the, the, the ballon d'or in the EPL. Like, and Cristiano Ronaldo is the only player I can assure you, even in your memory, you can that's the only player you can remember winning the Ballon d'Or. And for me, I believe Ballon d'Or is the is like the biggest, is like the Grammy of football, is like the Oscars of football. Yeah. So if you win the Ballon d'Or, it means you're the best player in the world. And what more can you talk about if you're talking about Hall of Famer? A Hall of Famer who doesn't have a Ballon d'Or. And how can you miss a player in your Hall of Fame list? Who has a Ballon d'Or? Do you know what? It's your age that's catching up with you, by the way. <laughs> that, that's a rubbish. I'll poke holes in Listen, that's a rubbish list. Okay. First, Let me poke holes. this is my list. Poke holes. Poke holes in my list. This is Lotan's list for Hall of Fame, by the way. First, Alan Shearer. All-time top scorer in the Premier League. As much as the game has changed, as much as the league has changed, Alan Shearer is yet to find a man to compete with him at his level when it comes to goal scoring. That one is a no-brainer. That one we are not arguing. Right. Taki argue. Next episode. I'm not even going to that debate. At that time, Alan Shearer. The, the, the league was so easy for him to score listen, so many goals. There Alan, were so many professionals. Listen, the league, you, keepers were letting in. Right now they have you can like the be, best keepers listen, in, in the Premier in the world and EPL. What's ahead of you? You can only beat what's ahead of you. Like Alan Shearer. Like Number two. It has to be, must be, Ryan Giggs. No man has won more Premier League titles than Ryan Giggs. With 13 titles, I think he's the ultimate good when it comes... Do you know Pinto? Wait. He's the ultimate good when it comes Is to... Is he called Premier. Pinto or somebody? He... Do you know Maxwell? Maxwell for Inter. Or which one? Yeah, the, the one who played for PSG. And, uh, the one who... And um, the one who was Barca. Barcelona. Yeah. Do you know Maxwell is like the second most... Competitive play in the world. Why? Because he, he's won so many trophies, but you know, you see, even right listen. now, you're trying to, to remember his name. Listen. You know what I mean? Th 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 listen. That's because you're in a club that is winning so many trophies that you're the best player. It's my list. Oh, Mr. Yes, Michael. Beckham. Even Solskjaer was there. Ah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. my first, I'd like I told you, Alan Shearer. Continue the boring list. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Giggs. Mm -hmm. The third one mm -hmm. is a shocker. <laughs> this one nobody is expecting. I am going wise. for the most unpopular opinion. Dennis Wise. No. <laughs> David Beckham. No man has been able to market the Premier League like David Beckham. I mean, that, that all the ladies out there know the Premier League because so yes. Are you, are you talking about the ladies or are you talking about? Football? Boss, this is this is the this is about the Premier League, bro. Everything. I mean, this man was a great player. Left um, United. Traveled to um, uh, Real Madrid, made an impact at Real Madrid. He is the ultimate marketing plan. I mean, he's the market, he's the marketing baby, product of the Premier League. So those are my three players. And you know, the best thing is, you also have a chance to tell us your three players that you think should be in the Hall of Fame. If you agree with uh, Owen's bad, bad, bad list of Cantona, who else? Beckham and uh, CR7. CR7. Or you take up my list of uh, Giggsy, Shara, and obviously David Beckham. Hit us in the comment section below. Tell us this is what you think. And Kamayako ni what wajuzi wa Van Dyke, Mosala, Sadio Mane, Mungu Akwana. Alright, remember to check us next week, same place, same time, on Clean Money TV as we talk nothing but the beautiful Football. game. Football! See you guys next week.